Okay, here we go. On the left-hand side is a score called We Are Here Too, which sounds like this. On the right-hand side is an Ableton Live set using the same score imported with new timbres. And also on the right-hand side is a composite video putting a recording of MuseScore with the timbres from Ableton. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in New Realms, Episode 6, Listen, Intuit 93, School People Dress. In today's episode, we re-entered on several thoughts. Is seeing things more active than listening things? Is seeing active and listening receptive? It seems to depend on being able to direct. If we can direct our ears and listen, then perhaps listening can also be active. We've been going back and forth between MuseScore and Ableton, as you just saw, which has gave us more ideas for the piece. And it's very similar to going back and forth between MuseScore and Reaper and MuseScore and Magic. And this is the theme of hybrid tech. We use multiple apps in this series, and we call it cross-dimensional thinking and hybrid technology. We also worked with a series called Comforting 5, and we were paying attention to what we call implied intervals. So this is an example of, of the act of listening, something that feels consonant, more consonant, and then we also have been working with a new series. So what we're going to show you is that we completed working with the We Are Here series, which is this video, like this. We just love how that dies out and lingers. And that, again, is because we were able to take the MuseScore version of this, which is much easier for us to compose in with the motif and chords lines, and then export those as two different MIDI uh, files, import them into Ableton here, and then we used a basic analog chime patch and a sweeper sage pad. A pad just means it pads out the sound. Um, and we worked with that. We also continued and completed working with the Comforting series. And this music looked like this. And this one we did a magic animation for. So in this one, we stayed with the patches that were available in MuseScore. So this piece sounds like this in MuseScore. And what we're going to do now is play it for you as the Magic Animation version.
So there are several things we like about this piece. Um, musically, we like that it's in the 2662 custom scale, and then we deliberately worked with paying listen active to the intervals. We wanted something that had more consonants in it, and which we got, and then there was a place in there where we used the, the built-in dissonance that comes with that scale, intervals of six. Sixes sound like this. Um, visually uh, and orally, we liked adding the, you could hear there was a side stick and a bass drum and a ride cymbal. And it turned out those kind of went well with the with the cognitive theme of the piece, come forwarding. Um, there, there's uh, uh, movement, will, conflict, adore, and patience. And so uh, we just knew that we wanted some percussion in there, and we kind of picked those pieces, and we like how they came out. And then visually, where you saw that big red boom, boom going down like that, that kind of went with the dissonance part, and the drum, the bass supported that. Anyway, we like. We liked how we blended the vision and the sound together, and we were aiming for a more nuanced sound and a nuanced appearance. We feel like we did that. Uh, we began working in earnest with something called the the girl in the red wicker dress. This is very much a work in progress, and we'll just play some of this for you to bring us home. Right there, you can hear the jump. And what's happening is these are all intervals of three and two and changes, which are medium to high consonants. But all of a sudden, we're getting into explicit sixes. And then four, even though four is, quote unquote, more consonant than a three, this is these are medium consonants. This is a high consonant, and it's jarring because we've been used to hearing a medium consonant, and bam, and then double bam, it goes into a six, which is the low. So we're going medium, 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 and then high, low, high, low. So uh, in this series, we're starting to we're continue our idea of active listening. Also, we're using something called the achacatura, which is a grace note. So the very same series you just heard with the grace note, again, built in. These are all part of the custom 2662, five note minor, five note major, seven note tonal tonality scale. And that's where we're at. It's a work in progress. So our ideas for next time are to continue to work with the girl in the Red Wicker Dress series. Uh, we are continuing our hybrid tech and extended metaverse projects. And we're continuing to look at how our multi-tool set works and plays well together. Uh, and our good old friend, To Be Determined, shout outs to Silent Lurker, Steady Worker, and Methodic Innovator. And also, especially Guy Dewar came back Thanks, Guy. And Hi-Fi Doge stopped by first time ever. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.